it's exceeded the business plan. It exceeded the business plan after one year and it way exceeded the business plan after two years. And I would say way exceeded the business plan in part because of all the sampling that occurred during COVID. So we were already ahead of plan, but then we were really ahead of plan. Um, one of the key sort of things I looked at last year was I sort of knew you, you know, you get these moments of huge sampling. In this case, it happened to do around a pandemic. There have been other examples of new services getting sampled because of something going on, right? Uh, the writer's strike. You know, all of a sudden, people started to sample Fox Network or similar kinds of events. Uh, the key was how much of that audience were you going to keep after they came and sampled? And so uh, in looking at the quarter, if we look at sort of end of March as the, as the key met moment and sort of look at September on the other side of it, um, we almost doubled where we were in Q4 last year versus where we were in Q1. So we, we saw a high up to about a million monthly uniques um, for a couple months there in June, July. And then we lost probably about 30% of it. The key there was the session time actually went up because you had a lot of people just clicking and sampling. And the session time went up to uh, like 48 minutes. So, uh, which, is, which is clearly television-like viewing. And the overall users, like I said, were almost, more, almost double what they were in Q1. So, we held on, we're higher than we were in the beginning of the year, and we held on to a big chunk of that sampling. 